Um, with the with your drive shaft completely uh, stripped down and your wave washer out, uh, um, put one bearing on this end of the shaft and insert it in the body when doing your chain drive. Now with the shaft installed with the wave washer out so that there's no plunging motion, um, we've just laid the chain over the shaft in there. We've already got our wheel sprocket installed down here uh, so we know where our center point is. Then if you come way down lower, I don't know if you can see this, I've marked the shaft there where we think the sprocket should ride plus some type of guide point to the right of that mark also to give us an idea that that should be fully visible uh, and then some once the sprocket's installed. So what we're talking about is positioning left to right on the uh, shaft because your new sprocket is a uh, um, board to the diameter of the shaft on the sprocket side so there, there's no free play but then it's counterboard on the other side uh, to allow it to hover the wider diameter of the shaft. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, pull this out. And now we've got our shaft out with our marks on it. So the next step we're going to do is to install our sprocket to the shaft, which these are a snug slip fit. Uh, so we're going to have to kind of beat this in, but what we're going to be looking for is for the sprocket uh, to line I up about there. keep a spare nut uh, around for, uh, uh, so when I beat on the end of a shaft, uh, I don't, uh, to drive a sprocket on or off, that I don't damage the uh, shaft itself. Uh, you probably want to use a bench vise or, or some such thing to, uh, to do this procedure, but basically we're going to try to drive the shaft down into the sprocket uh, to the desired depth and then put it back up in the body and check it to make sure we've done good. To use the frame of these steps here uh, to, uh, to drive the shaft in further and maybe it won't give or break like the table. I guess I might note that Scooter.com is not responsible for damages to your sprocket from this method or your shaft. This is completely at your own discretion. You may have a try to have a local shop uh, assemble this for you. Uh, uh, but the only thing is uh, having the positioning right. might want to let a mechanic shop do the install. I think we still got a ways to go, but it is moving. We've driven it on, which what looks like a little bit too far, but according to our marks, it might could still go on just a hair, but we're going to go ahead and check it for alignment because we may have already achieved what we're looking for. We're not going to reinstall our snap ring there because we do intend to have this uh, sprocket welded to the shaft once it's in and tracking correctly and everything's fully assembled we'll take it to the uh, welding shop and have them come up and in from the frame from behind and and weld up in and, and zap that in a couple two three four places the sprocket to the shaft so uh, once we once you've got that in position what you want to do is to put your wave washer back in if it's this kind of model that you have that and then put your bearing on now Stick your shaft. shaft up in the body <laughs> and then wrapping your chain around it around your sprocket uh, and the wave washer in the in the right side hole already then you do have a little bit of as we showed you before on a previous video a little bit of plunging motion a little bit of plunge there and I guess really to make sure that everything's right you would really have to go ahead and put in a, a bearing on this side and go ahead and put your snap ring in. Make sure everything's fully seated to make sure your alignment is correct. So we're going to go ahead and we put a bearing in over here. And we're going to go ahead and put in a snap ring. Uh, just keep tapping them until they snap. This is how I put them back in. I don't really put them back in with snap ring pliers. Just kind of get a screwdriver or an Allen wrench or something. Keep tapping them in until you know. 
that it's clicked in and it looks like both legs kicked down and our snap ring is fully installed. So let's go back to our sprocket over here. And so with the shaft fully installed, then lay your chain over your sprocket and let me get behind it and look one time. Pull the chain tight. I actually like it right there. I think, you know, we didn't move it quite as far as our marking said. And let's check one more time with the light here. And that's about as straight as you're going to get. And that's installed with the wave washer there. So, once you've got it to that point, then take your chain. And let's come around to the right here a little bit more. Okay, and bring it on around and uh, lock in one end. Pull it with your wheel slid all the way forward with all the adjustment out so that your wheel can't go any farther forward. Then wrap your chain around and try to get it to go to the next link if it will. And we just got, to, it's just can't quite go, so we're gonna have to relax it one and let it drop. And then bring our chain around. And as you can see, that is the uh, link that you'd want to cut uh, to put in a master link. So we've already pre-ground this chain to make it easy for the video here. Basically what you want to do is take a bench grinder or a cutter tool or something and, and cut down into the link so there's barely any of the link left, but do not cut into the link that you're going to use there. And then once you've done that, just a gentle twist pressure and that breaks your chain. Um, and make sure you take your pin out there and then bring it to the free space of the top of the chain so that you can get it through. There's our master link installed now and there's our connecting link for the master link and then uh, Pac-Man running backwards for the master link clip. If I can get it lined up there, there we go. Sometimes if you kink the chain slightly sideways like that, it'll help you get it. Okay, there. There's our master link installed. So now all we need to do is tighten our adjusters to where uh, we should go ahead and probably do that on video. On these chain adjusters here, uh, taking the slack out of our chain sprocket um, and a 45 tooth wheel sprocket because we have the bigger tire. You could put this sprocket on a rock with the smaller tire, but it would uh, decrease your top end and give you torque. Having a bigger sprocket, the, bigger, the factory sprocket for a rock when you have the 9 inch tire is 36 tooth. This is 45 tooth. So let's see here. You check it in a couple different places because uh, it may be tighter in one spot than another slightly. I think right there, see, that right there, that's the loosest uh, uh, portion of the chain. I think that's about right to have a little bit it's of wiggle there. It's pretty straight up. So, since we uh, like our tracking here, let's find our uh, one eight bottom inch since you like your alignment. Come up in from the bottom, and you can take these screws back out later after you've had it welded just to keep them from spitting out at will. But what we do is just go ahead and snug both of them down and you can take your shaft out and take it to the welding shop and have them just All weld we the shaft. All we have to do is weld that sprocket to the shaft. We're going to come back out here and finish uh, our snap ring and our bearing is in. The, fa the factory way to do it would be to put a type 1 spacer and then your keyway and pulley. But we're going to try uh, making this one super duty for Mr. Brad Jen. Uh, this is his scooter here we're working on for the video. We're going to put a shorter type 3 spacer in there and then a whole nother bearing as we've been talking about earlier in the video. Yes, this does cause the bearing to stick out a little bit, but that's a good thing because then when it comes time to disassemble, you'll actually be able to get a hold of it. If that inner bearing was to get loose or wear over time or something like that and get free play, this one will start to catch it and do the job of the first one or they can work together, whichever the case may be.